Hello. After procrastinating on this task for several weeks, I've finally been struck with a spark of motivation, and I've decided to take another shot at doing a voiceover video. This particular match was Brock's Gap on April 3rd, 2021. My thesis with this match was that I would try and shoot at my current level of performance in a somewhat conservative fashion, just as kind of a progress check, because I've been trying to do the whole uh, Travis Tomasi, Tony Wong style um, velocitization, or I don't remember exactly what Tomasi calls it, but that kind of thing. I, I was trying to go fast in order to build skill. So I figured I'd you know, slow down, do an actual progress check, and kind of see where I'm at relative to my past performances. So on this first run of the first stage, um, I think my main mistakes were a poor unloaded start for one thing, then I should have taken the left target in this first position first rather than the right, and that way I could exit. I also should have avoided touching that uh, fence because I could have gotten a procedural, but fortunately I didn't somehow. Regrettably, this run got thrown out due to the shot timer picking up another shot almost six seconds after I'd fired my last. Uh, fortunately, this is a level one, and video evidence was regarded as admissible, so I got a reshoot. Um, however, I didn't do particularly great on the reshoot. The reshoot was kind of done last minute as we were leaving the stage, so everyone was kind of in a rush, and I was a little bit uh, tilted, I guess you could say. Um, so I made a mistake, and almost induced a malfunction by not wrecking my slide far enough um, on the on the table start. After that mistake, my mental game was thrown off to the point where I made a couple other mistakes with respect to sloppy movement, sloppy transitions, that kind of thing. Um, so it ended up not being the best run, but it was still better than taking the six seconds uh, after I fired my last shot from the first run. Um, I ended up getting three seconds out of it. My hits were a little bit worse. Uh, my time, I think, if I were actually shooting to my skill level, it should have been at or around six seconds. Um, especially if I had actually done well with the unloaded start. This stage was literally just a single draw on steel at 10 yards, um, and I decided to chance a scoop draw, and it worked in my favor in this particular case. Uh, I I think my time was 0.95 seconds, which was the fastest time for carry optics, so I actually won a stage in carry optics. Uh, I think it was fourth overall. Not that it matters. This stage was uh, USPSA CM 1901 hijinks, and I believe I took a 73.29% uh, for classification. Um, insofar as what I should have done for this stage differently, I, I think it, I might have tried to take the second position entrance, or at least take maybe the middle target on the second position uh, on the move. I'm, I'm not positive. I mean, obviously I could have shot faster splits and got better hits, but I think I probably could have done something different as far as order of operations, or movement, or overall stage plan. If I remember correctly, I didn't plan to take the second position left or right though either. That just kind of happened to the spur of the moment. In retrospect, I ought to have taken both of the targets that were accessible from the start position, from the start position, because, I mean, it doesn't really cost me any time to take them there. Um, I ended up taking one of them from the left middle position, which I didn't need to do. I could have taken it from the start. Also, I should have taken a slightly longer left step backwards from the start because I ended up having a barrel strike on the first shot on the lower target there, which was my one mic for the stage. Um, as I'm coming into this third position here, you'll see that I have a malfunction, and that's just caused by me having too much support and pressure on the slide base. I also take a uh, makeup shot I didn't need to take on the left target in that last position. As for this stage, I'm wondering, in retrospect, whether taking the first shot on the first target on the move would have been a good idea. I think my entry was overall fairly decent, but I didn't shoot until I was more or less completely stopped. So I feel I feel like I could have ta saved a modicum of time there. After that, I over-transitioned a little bit from the first target to the second target, and I clipped the perforation, um, so I ended up getting I think, an alpha delta no shoot on the bottom target, but no mic. On this stage, the scoop draw did not actually end up working out particularly well. Uh, I had a poor grip on the gun, and my recoil control 
on the first couple targets was not anywhere near what it needed to be. As a result, I ended up taking a couple makeup shots on the middle right targets that I didn't need to take. I also had a little bit of trouble with my dot being washed out, which contributed to my uncertainty in the middle right targets. Aside from using a traditional draw instead of a speed draw, another thing I could have done to improve my outcome on the stage was taking six targets from the start. Rather than just taking the first four on the right, I could have also taken both of the uh, left targets that were visible from the center. Um, I didn't realize it at the time, but there is a very narrow position where you can see both of the left targets from that first position under the fence. This was another interesting stage. Um, there was really no choice as far as stage plans besides going backwards, either left or right, and I chose to go to my left of the stage's right. I don't know if that was the right move in retrospect because of how awkward it made uh, that an entry to that position and the draw. Beyond just that particular first entry, I feel like my entries in general, uh, especially on the back of the stage, but throughout, really could have been a lot smoother, as well as the exits. For instance, I should have exited that second position much sooner. Also, Shit. you'll see as I'm coming into this forward position, I take it by leaning out rather than going through the port, uh, which leads to a barrel strike, which I go and make up, which in that respect, I probably would have been better off not making up. While this strategy didn't work for me in this particular case, I feel like it has more potential for speed than going through the ports, because you're not dragging your gun. Unfortunately, I don't have first-person video for this uh, stage, and the third-person video started a little bit late, so it doesn't show the first couple targets. I'll play the video of this stage again in slow motion just to go over the actual commentary, just to give myself time to talk. So in this video, I'm taking the second center distant target and the right distant target, then exiting, pushing off the fault line, which I'm not sure was the right move. It might have been faster just to lean forward rather than kind of doing a pseudo drop step. But I had my gun up on the entry, and the exit was smooth. However, I dropped the magazine on the reload. I think that second position was good aside from dropping a magazine on the reload and losing a bit of time there. Here, I had one miss on this uh, left side array of six, or sorry, of three targets, six shots. I took seven. Um, They're probably about 17 yards out though, and then. I move not particularly smoothly over to this last position, and I look down to check and make sure I'm not over the fault line because it was partially buried, uh, which made it a little bit difficult to tell, but surprisingly I didn't have any mics on the right side, which is good. I only have one mic on this stage. I think, in retrospect, one thing I could have done better on this stage would have been taking all of the middle positions further back. That way I would have been able to make a much smoother entry into the last position and not worry so much about clipping the fences. Overall, I really enjoyed this match and I found it to be a very useful progress check. I'm glad to know that I am improving, it's very reassuring. I intend to continue putting time and effort into improving in USPSA and I'll also be shooting the same Bronx Gap match again this coming weekend. I expect a video, hopefully in a similar format to this one, and if you're interested be sure to like and subscribe. Do all the things that YouTubers usually tell you to do. And I'll see you in the next one.